The Emperor's New Clothes by Hans Christian Andersen. Many years ago, there lived an emperor who was very fond of fine new clothes. He spent large amounts of money to always be dressed well. He did not care about soldiers, and theater did not amuse him. The only thing that he took interest in was parades through the town, showing off his new suit of clothes. He had a coat for every hour of the day. One day, there came to his town a swindler. She made people believe she was a weaver and declared she could manufacture the finest clothes to be imagined. The weaver began taking the emperor's measurements. The weaver began ordering bales of costal silk and gold thread. She said she needed it for her famous cloth. All day long, she sat in front of the loom pretending to weave. Of course, the loom was completely empty. The emperor was excited to see his new suit, but he was also worried. He knew that he was the cleverest man in land, but what if he could not see the cloth? Well, the chief minister could not see the cloth, but she was very worried that the emperor might dismiss her if, if he was too dumb to see it. Don't you simply love this cloth? It's perfect for his highness. I've never seen anything like it. I'm so glad you like it. The chief minister reported back to the emperor that the weaving was pro progressing well. Soon the emperor became impatient again. By now, everyone in the whole town was talking about the cloth. At the end of the week, there was a grand procession. The emperor was to wear his new suit made of the precious cloth for all the town to see. The weaver be was busy day and night, cutting thin air with scissors and sewing with imaginary thread. Soon she declared to be finished and the emperor was invited to see his new suit when when he and his chief minister arrived they were both very worried indeed there a suit fit for an emperor i've never seen anything like it on the morning of the grand procession the emperor stood in his long gowns while the weavers helped him on his new clothes. It fits you perfectly. Your light is air. You're in the suit in the world. So was the emperor walked proudly in his procession wearing only his long gowns. Look, here comes the emperor. At first there was stunned silence from the crowd lining the streets, but everyone had heard the only clever people could see the claws. Just then, there was a hush in the crowd, and one little girl could be heard. In the dreadful moment, the whole crowd realized it was true. They began to laugh. After that, the emperor was very quite surveyed. And as for the swindler, she was very quite so rich. The Umbrella by Jan Brett. Our story begins with the young girl, Carlito, hiking away from her home. Hey, little Carlito, where are you going with the umbrella? Into the cloud forest, Mama, to see what I can see. I'll be spotting a jaguar and a monkey and most animals. We're not right there, Carlito. Good luck. Carlito walks into the cloud horse. How sad it is. The only sound is the drip, drip, drip of drops falling from the tall trees. There's not so much as a tiny tree frog down here. I wonder where all the animals are. I'll have to climb up for a better view. Carlito drops her umbrella and start, starts up the giant big tree. Drip, drip, drip. A little puddle appears in the green umbrella. A tiny tree, tree frog leaps down and slips into the water. Hola, I have this puddle all to
to myself. Just then, plop, a juicy, bright, big ball smack into an umbrella. Toucan is not so far behind. The frog sees Toucan sharply. Let them go in. But Toucan is not moving. She is waiting for another fig to fall. High in the tree, a scratching sound starts. Start. Scratch, scratch, scratch. Something is sliding down the tree. It gets louder and louder until thump. Pikachu tumbles in. Frog and Toucan yells at Pikachu. Muy grande. No too big. But Pikachu is just getting comfortable. After prowling around all night for food, he's just found the right place to rest. Thump, crash, bump. Baby T per blunt. Mama! No, it's not he. She's not here. The umbrella shiny green leaves shiver and shake. But Baby T is is staying here until her, until her mother comes forward. Swish, swish, a most beautiful bird sails down onto the umbrella. Toucan, Pikachu, and Baby T pair. The animal all yell at Quetzal. Fly away! But proud Quetzal is too busy arranging her tail, plums sails into the water. Suddenly, Frisky Monkey jumps down. He, he grabs the umbrella flings into the river and jumps aboard and all all of the animals are are getting quite irritated and yell at the monkey one by one. Hey Tessa, what's happening? We're saying the treasure. It's in stone. Who's sitting on me? Pot was in a big gun. Beginning they said is a way. Jack wires Jaguar is cleaning her silky black spots from when she hears all the squabbling. As the umbrella floats by, she pounces in, making it sink into the water. The animals scramble and swim out of the jaguar's way. Look at them. Yes! Thank <laughs> you. 
Put your tongue in your mouth. Mm -hmm.